Have you ever walked down Chick Hearn Avenue, which takes you in front of Staples Center and stood in front of the arena and just witnessed or seen firsthand all of the statues of the NBA legends who have played for the Lakers? There's a total of about six basketball statues outside Staples Center from Magic Johnson, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Jerry West, Elgin Baylor, Shaquille O'Neal, and even longtime Lakers broadcaster Chick Hearn has one. But who is the next Laker legend who deserves a statue? So let's begin. Obviously, it has to be Kobe Bryant. He was not born in LA, but Los Angeles raced him. He joined the Lakers when he was 17 years old, fresh out of high school. And it is no secret that Mamba had God-given talent and that his work ethic rivaled Michael Jordan's. Put those two things together and he became one of the top three players in all NBA history. Obviously, that can be argued, but we'll leave that conversation for another day. Look, Kobe won five NBA titles with the Lakers. He was a two-time NBA Finals MVP, a regular season MVP, four-time All-Star MVP, 11-time All-NBA First Team. And look, I can keep going and going and going on all of the accolades Kobe Bryant achieved when he played for the Lakers. And don't forget, he was a McDonald's All-American coming out of high school. Look, Kobe for sure is getting the next statue outside of, of Staples Center. Now, the big question is, where in Staples should that statue be placed? Should Jenny Buss put it next to Shaq's? Or should it be placed in a spot where Kobe can sit all by himself because he did wear number 8 and 24 with the Lakers? It needs to be next to Shaq, in my opinion. Why? They won three titles together and even squashed their beef they once had. So wouldn't it make more sense for the statue to be next to Shaq? I would say yes. But what about LeBron James? He will go down as a top 10 player in the history of the NBA. He did win a title with the Lakers in 2020. But is that enough for him to be the next all-time Laker great next to Kareem, next to Magic, next to Shaq? Possibly next to Kobe. Mm, not yet. Let's put the brakes on it. You can make an argument that Jerry West only had one title with the Lakers, but West played his entire career for LA. And yes, it was a different era of basketball where guys weren't switching teams here and there all the time or building super teams. But I don't know if LeBron will go down as a Laker legend just yet. He needs to win at least. Two more titles for him to get his statue in front of Staples Center. LeBron has not done enough with the Lakers to have one just yet. His first year, he missed the playoffs. The following year, they won it all in the NBA bubble. And does that title really count? Yes, it does. But it just did not feel the same. And last season, they were knocked out in the first round. He has the NBA resume, but has not done enough with the Lakers to earn one yet. So who knows? LeBron... You got to prove us all wrong in order to get your statue in front of Staples Center.